what then became a very well-rounded character with obvious weaknesses, but very well-rounded. And you can punish a Link who's very exploitable in a lot of key areas. Maybe not on Smashville, though. Smashville might be a little bit more tricky. But, I mean, as we get into it, we'll have to see how uh, how Tejuice wants to play around and find those starters. It's, I really thought that heal slide was going to lead to more. Okay. Very nice. Almost. Ooh. Didn't have a jump. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> already already on to a really nice start. I mean, okay. Gonna get... We already know how Bayo does with her just, you know, combo routes, but, um... Okay. Definitely gonna see, like, how, you know, they take the time to just make it so that... Teju, or I'm um, sorry, Liam never really has a chance to, you know, play the game. You know, right now, we're already at 26%. And this is where it starts getting a little bit, you know, weird for, um, you know, Link players because any second that you get um, close to Bayo, it becomes a guessing game at that point because most Bayos tend to not really jump in specific situations against Link. And at this point, you know, if Tejus can just make sure that they watch out for a lot of specific things, you know, you kind of avoid dying very early to um, a lot of Link's, you know, shenanigans. Alright, and Witch Time comes through for the first time. Uh, even if uh, Teju's Witch Time's a projectile, as long as Link is within a set range, the Witch Time will still affect him. Or you can just catch that Nair out of shield, which is, you know, more than likely an option that Link mains are gonna do. Like, it's plenty of offensive out of shield options, but getting caught by Witch Time like that is a guaranteed smash attack at 130, a guaranteed stock. <laughs> um, well, just gonna die. That's their first stock taken off, and it's gonna be definitely oh, you know, really hard for um, you know Liam to just make this comeback. And he's just gonna spend most of the time in disadvantage. Already on ninety five percent. Very nice catch on that air dodge read though as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, he's he's, he's banned at it. He'll recover, but still. Trying to be trying to be overly aggressive nice. nets you dangerous and uh, nets you into dangerous spots. So bats within, saving his hide and guaranteeing a free punish. Wow, that was a. I mean, what more to say than just Bayonetta doing Bayo things and William struggling to find proper uh, proper counterplay. It looked like there was a lot of. Like, there was the fundamentals there to punishing things like ABK to ledge, uh, punishing things uh, like uh, just, you know, standard player habits, like if you neutral get up too much. But when it came to just the aggressive banner edge guarding, like getting around Witch Twist, a proper SDI depending on uh, combo instances, that didn't seem like Liam was as ready for as... It didn't look like Liam was as ready for that level of counterplay, and he kind of got beat up because of it. <laughs> Yeah, most too many people don't really know too much about the um, like matchup in general, so it's definitely gonna need a little bit more of um, you know learning on their part. But as I said, I mean, this matchup can go definitely either way. Just needs to make sure they watch out a little bit more about how they kind of place everything. Oh, oh, it wouldn't be a bayonetta set without an SD. So I mean, got that out of the way. <laughs> See, these are these, the even the more specific, you know, they're already on their second stock and they're at 84% already. And this is kind of where you need to like, kind of... Is he dead? What the heck is happening? Wow. <laughs> All right. See, you know... Okay, yeah, taking a breather on the angel platform. Just... All right. You know, when you Doable. get to situations like that, especially playing this character, um, definitely good to just take a breather right there because that was just, oh, we, we love it. <laughs> But yeah, um, if you definitely don't, um, that was the perfect display of, you know, what Link can really do in this matchup if you're not too careful about how you're really utilizing your disadvantage. So if you're, you know, doing the same things, it wasn't as, you know, prevalent in the first set, but I mean, first game, but now that it is, you know, I can definitely see this being a three stock from uh, Liam. Yeah. All oh, right. That game didn't last a minute, or that game didn't last past a minute and a half. 
and you know <laughs> like what their uh, first stock being an sd that kind of sucks the second two though what domination from an offensive standpoint like he took the com he took the combo routes that teju's had and he's like all right yeah like this is bayonetta this is how it works but when i get my like my sword on you my hands my feet like when i my when my buttons start connecting you're gonna explode just as quickly and him looked very i mean proper counter pick i guess that looked incredible i mean it was just more of the i mean if it would have probably been the same instance if you know probably if tejus it, it probably might have been the fact that you know tejus was doing well and then just accidentally sd that it kind of you know affected their um mental plan but honestly at this point you're starting a new game it's going to be definitely interesting to see you know how they attempt to just take this game back because it's definitely in the dead yep. <laughs> sorry to cut oh. you off but this is a so there's many games many game states in smash ultimate that are favoring non-interaction depending on player depending on situation depending on cat uh, which uh, character is on screen this feels like the opposite of that both of them are just exploding at any at any given moment and while game one it was uh game one it was tejus game two it was liam and now game three seems like it's back to tejus especially since the uh liam did not ban smashville and probably reasonably so but tejus looks very into at the very least a, a solid combo not, not anything this, but yeah yeah no. <laughs> um but yeah anything if anything if um liam just you know kind of reverts back to the same kind of um what happened in the second game this is definitely within you know the grasp of reach reach of grasp it's definitely within you know range of winning if you know they kind of take advantage of how you know Bayo's uh, disadvantage can definitely work against her. You know, it's essentially, you know, very <laughs> one-sided when you get to like specific types of um, players, but honestly, yeah, um, let's just see. Yeah, Bayonet is one of the, she's a character that has act like a natively defined like combo state and not just a, like not just going like you know winning neutral get your two to three hits and then play advantage like bayonetta plays combo and then plays advantage which can Very lead to some uh, it can lead to some to some temperamental stuff when it comes to high percents like this as the liam is absolutely in it as long as he doesn't just die from this interaction right here no jump having but he gets back to ledge one thing that I definitely noticed Liam trying, I mean, not Liam, sorry, um, Tejus is trying to do a lot of is trying to read um, Liam's, you know, landing options, but you have a frame three nair that ends pretty fast. So honestly, those ass smashes come out way too slow to be able to like, you know, punish him related to that. And he missed the punish on the witch time, looking to looking to get back here, but it was a little bit too... Wow, that, wait a minute, that f tilt hit. This game is starting to come down to the wire. Aggressive options still coming out from Tejus. He's hunting for this kill. <laughs> Wrong hit of down air. <laughs> the coochie hit. We can we can say it. Oh, wow, that would have been very... That would have been very bad if that got... But this... Right, should fourth, fourth throw should do... Why? Oh. You, didn't, you didn't throw. You didn't do the throw. Thank now you. this one please wow <laughs> all right okay. 192 and climbing another one okay he could have gotten anything but he decided forward throw <laughs> oh, oh oh god that that was you know you know i would have been very sad if that would have been you know just thrown away that was that was just you know that was just so god <laughs> so for information's sake links up b uh when it it functions on a re-hit but if you block the first hit or any hit then and he's just sitting there spinning and missing you completely That's so, so sad you looking. can hit him with whatever you want and he decided forward throw which looked like it was very close to not killing 
Alas, that's a different universe, a different timeline. As Tejus does make their way into top Winterside top eight, still as the number it. one seed. Oh yeah. Woo. 